Um, so then we talk about if, if you disconnect from the tractor properly, you'll never have this issue in the first place. On this Monday Morning Minute, it's a new week and I'm still here, even after our last video on April 1st. This week we're going to talk about hydraulic quick couplers. Before we do that though, we do have one email to address. We got a question from Jameson and he asked us, I'm a huge Ventrac fan. I got to drive one at an open house at a dealer near me. My question for Monday Morning Minute is, is there a benefit to using V-tread tires versus the normal tractor or turf tire? My cousin works on Ventrax, and I hope to eventually buy one from him one day. Thanks for the content, Ventrac. It's a good question, Jameson. The vast majority of our tractors go out with what we call a field tracks tire. It's the normal tractor that you see in most of our videos because it's the best all around tire for most applications. A bar tire actually does work better whenever you're pushing or pulling in loose material. So an example of this would be using a straight blade in deeper snow or driving the tractor in sandy conditions or loose soil, maybe, maybe muddy conditions. There are some drawbacks to a bar tire though, which is why we don't recommend them for most people. They're not very good for side hills. So while they do go up and down hills just fine, if you find yourself in a situation where you're going sideways, they perform a lot worse than a field tracks. They also wear down incredibly quickly if you're using them for snow removal and you're on a lot of paved surfaces because the cement just files down those bars and then they basically become a slick. So a field tracks tire performs better for longer than a bar tire. So you can use a bar tire if you have a very specific application that calls for it, and it is a better choice for that, but for the most part, we recommend that most users should use a field tracks tire. Now let's talk about today's topic, hydraulic quick couplers. Sometimes they're really difficult or even impossible to connect. So we're gonna talk today about why that happens and what you can do to avoid it and fix it if it does happen to you. As you may know, most of our attachments have auxiliary hydraulic controls. The attachments connect to the tractor using two hydraulics, sometimes four hydraulics, and occasionally those can seize up and be hard to connect to the tractor. This happens for a variety of reasons, but it all boils down to the same issue. There's hydraulic pressure built up either on the tractor side or the attachment side, preventing those couplers from connecting easily. This can be caused by attachments sitting in the sun and building pressure. It can also be caused by attachments being removed incorrectly from the tractor. Sometimes this can even be caused by something as simple as moving an attachment around and bumping it, building pressure in that cylinder. To troubleshoot and fix this issue, we're going to take you back to the tractor and show you exactly what to do. The first thing we want to talk about is disconnecting from the tractor in the first place because if you do it properly then you can just avoid this issue entirely. Uh, when your attachment is still connected to the tractor and these hydraulic lines are still connected to the quick, quick couplers, uh, if you disconnect uh, with the tractor off, turn the tractor off first and then move the auxiliary lever left and right and that will release any pressure on both ends of the circuit. And if you do that, then you should never have this problem, save for parking the attachment in a sunny area or bumping it in the shop or something. Uh, but if you haven't done that, if you've uh, had the tractor running while you pulled those off and you just bad circumstances had built up pressure, then you will end up with this issue and this is how to take care of it. So here we have a good example of hydraulic lock. This is the plunger that I'm talking about on the quick connector, or the male end of the quick connector. A little bit of oil on there. And you can see no matter how you push on it, the plunger is stuck up, which means there's built up pressure in this line. So if you try to connect this to the tractor, you're not going to get very far. You can push as hard as you want, and it's just not going to go in. So what you want to do is follow this line to the attachment where it tees in, and it connects, and you want to break that nut free and let the pressure loose. Now it's not going to take much to do it. Uh, only a couple drips of hydraulic oil will come out, but you still want to have a rag and just make sure you don't get any on the ground or anywhere else. So you go in here and you take your three quarter wrench and you move this free and you 
I could hear it. You probably couldn't pick that up in the mic, but you could hear that pressure release. And then you'll want to tighten it again. Basically, you want to go from finger tight to about one to one and a half flat surfaces tight. And that means when these flat surfaces align, take it a whole flat surface distance uh, because there is no torque value for these. So now that we're tight again, you can see this plunger moves easily with finger pressure. And you see a little bit of oil squirt out there. So again, wipe that off. And you'll be good to go to connect it to the tractor. So that's how you troubleshoot and fix hydraulic lock. Now there is one more important thing to talk about. Obviously we lost very little hydraulic oil, a couple drops, uh, pretty inconsequential. But if you're doing this over the course of time, or even just disconnecting attachments in general, sometimes you'll lose a little bit of hydraulic oil. Uh, so that's one of the reasons that you want to keep up to date on checking your hydraulic oil levels in the tractor because over time, losing little bits like that will add up. So if you do this, um, the next thing you need to do eventually is check your hydraulic oil levels and make sure that's adequate before you do any running of attachments.